Well, here we are. It's another one of those videos. Yeah, 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 my sanity's been going down the drain, but every time I put one of these taking the piss out of viewers things up, you guys just keep wanting more and more and more and more and more. <sighs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a goddamn break. <laughs> but um, speaking of giving a break, we're giving a for granted a break. Uh, a break. <laughs> a bake sale. <laughs> a break. And we're focusing on bass notes. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is a more difficult video to put together because from what I've noticed, People on bass notes can actually speak English. People on bass notes can actually spell, which is a, a big upgrade from For Grand Care, where it's just, oh my god, exclamation marks everywhere, accordion music, ah, Aramis, <laughs> spam. My review, five stars, and it's got like six balloons next to it, and you're like, what the fuck, someone thumbs that up. They probably thumbs that up after my video after I find it fucking hilarious. But anyway, <laughs> as always, this video is just for fun. It's not to be nasty, it's not to have a go at anyone. It's just for entertainment. So yeah guys, sit back, relax, and just let your faith in humanity just exit your body. So let's get started. Here's one for Black Oud by Montal. Black Oud, the promise of everlasting youth and self-renewal. Black Oud, its beauty certainly is genius. Black Oud, it seems immortal to me. Yeah, I never knew this was the 80s, because if you just replaced Black Oud with Kuvos, it basically resembles most of the fucking adverts or Kuvos they had in the 80s, it was like, Kuvos, and masculinity and Greek gods, the Bible for swords coming, Kuvos, Black Oud, Black Oud, fuck me, I've never saw someone so passionate about scent in my life, but kudos to him, I actually really fucking enjoyed reading that, I might go wear some myself. <laughs> Here's one for 24 gold. This is the worst blind buy ever. It smells like old. Not even old man, but old woman. The Jack Bauer reference is only a publicity thing. It has nothing to do with the man or the action series. Longevity is not good either. It's 12 hours after all there is on skin is very schooly see that smell. We one that any fragrance connoisseur would smile upon. I don't see anyone under 60 can wear this without making a fool of himself. This is such a disappointment. Really? Yep, guys, he wasn't fucking about. It was a disappointment. Really? And it doesn't smell like old man or old woman. It smells that bad. It doesn't even have a gender. It just smells old. Old. And if you wear this, you'll make a fool of yourself. Because he's not making a fool of himself at all by making that review. <laughs> yeah. Here's a review for Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein, which seems to be written by a feminist. Overbearing and offensive, with a choking quality that burns the nostrils like an obnoxious male hitting you in public. You wish he'd just go away and disappear. Quite unpleasant indeed. Yeah, well, your fucking attitude is quite unpleasant, you motherfucker. But, yeah, quite an interesting review. An overbearing, obnoxious male. Ooh, also known as your ex-transsexual girlfriend. Yep, because I've not had one of those. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's an interesting one for Silver Scent. I found this extremely awful. Yes, it is glowing as I want to see it and last really long. There is nothing that would suggest to me something silver or uh, something so dark. Instead, it has super jelly bean smell, like those we find on children parties, which turns the scent very annoying to me. <laughs> okay. Whatever. And it's not just jelly bean smell, it's super jelly bean smell. Do, 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 super jelly bean. Oh yeah. And don't forget, you don't find them at children parties, you find them on children parties. Like they were, th <laughs> like they were throwing them up to the roof of the house or something and he just happened to be like fixing the roof. Like, oh, jelly bean. Oh, it smells like silver scent. Fucking hell. Where do these people come from? Fuck me. Here's one for Creed's Aventist. Pineapple and some interesting floral concoction. I don't see this as anyone's signature scent. Maybe SpongeBob SquarePants are lifting the pineapple. <laughs> Cleet tried and failed with this. <laughs> the ridiculous price tag will fool no one. <laughs> pineapple. Fucking hell. You know, of all people, SpongeBob SquarePants lives in the pineapple weaving Creed Aventus. <laughs> He's like, hey Sandy, do you like my cologne? <laughs> it's Creed Aventus. <laughs> Creed Aventus. <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Fucking hell. Jesus. Oh. Here's not one, but two reviews for Tobacco Vanilla. 
Random assortment of letters and symbols. Beep, 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 beep. Error or error code 404. Strong! I wouldn't recommend it to individuals younger than 30 years old. In fact, I'd suggest 50 plus year old man to buy this. It's very spicy and gourmand. <laughs> and even though we've got Mr. Testosterone in the top, we've got Mr. Laidback High as a Kite doesn't give a fuck in the bottom. Hey, this is what George Bailey would have been wearing in It's a Wonderful Life. Doesn't give a shit. It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful scent. George Bailey wore it. All these guys wear it. Tom Ford not. They've done a really good job. Okay, that's enough with the fucking CBS bullshit. But yeah. Fuck me. Two reviews. They were just too good to leave out either one. Here's one for Hugo Boss number one. The opening is an unpleasant honey. And mass mixture with a little bit of a urine note in the background. Unfortunately, as the day progresses, the honey dies down while the urine-soaked moss rages on at full strength. It does have a sort of 1980s aura to it. It makes me want to put on a pinstripe soup and fire someone. I imagine Donald Trump smells like this. Yeah, I'm sure Donald Trump does smell like this, but why would you deliberately want to put on a strip just to fire someone? You should put, it makes me want to drive a Ferrari and a linen Italian suit like a gangster. Not fire someone. I love this scent because it means I can fantasize about firing people and ruining their futures. Ha ha ha. Prick. Here's a partial review for Yop Ohm. Or Jupe for all you ignorant people out there. Horrible. I really don't want to waste my time reviewing this abomination for too long. So I won't. Avoid. Well the joke's on you because you had to log into your Beast Notes account, find it, Scroll down, click the new one, and type in a new review, click save, and go through all the forum bullshit to get it posted. So yeah, you did review, whether you like it or not. And now you're in a video. Fucker. Here's one for Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. A wonderful scent for beefcakes everywhere. And children. It's a great smell. It immediately associates with negative stigma fraternities and high schoolers. I wouldn't use this anytime soon, but it's a good scent. Yeah, you're probably one of those beefcakes in fraternities and high school. Asshole. It's not just good for beefcakes. It's good for children too, ages three and up. Be careful of the small parts. Fucking hell. And children. Sorry, let me, let's do it again. A wonderful scent for beefcakes everywhere. Full stop. New line. And children. Full stop. What the fuck's that all about? Christ. Here's one for Packer Bands Black Excess. I do get clubbing from this. Clubbing a strawberry patch in South America. <laughs> what a knee slap, eh? It's fantastic, though, and definitely reminds you that it's there. Great summer scent. Definitely great for informal gatherings. There isn't a big transformation in the dry down. However, I do believe definitely that the black is a misnomer. Whatever the fuck that is. I think Shams de Frey's Parpacara Band would be a more fitting title. It seems like fellow viewers agree. Well, I don't. Black XS is fine. And when I first read the first line, I thought you just said, <laughs> Clubbing seals. <laughs> you sick bastard. I love you. Next up, we have something that isn't a review, but actually an offer by Beast Notes. Join Beast Notes Plus. Joining Beast Notes Plus helps support the site and gives you additional features, such as switching off the ads and more storage space. You can also increase space and options, create up to five social groups, meet Beast Notes with similar interests. Larger avatars, go large and get 120 by 120 avatars so you can be an even bigger dick on the internet. Increased private message stories, up to 1,000. Increased picture stories, store up to 1,000 images in your album and at larger sizes so you can show off your collection and prove to people how your penis is bigger than theirs. But wait, but wait, <laughs> there's more. There's an option to swift off ads on most parts of the site. Not all parts of the site, only most. Ads pay our bills, but you're contributing blah 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 bullshit. You can choose some 500 plus wardrobe icons, because that's totally necessary <laughs> to post on a fucking forum. Plus, that's not all. Billy Mays here. Private members only forums, like a smoking club full of assholes. Occasional sample giveaways and discounts like can get, you can get at your local department store for free. Invisibility mode. Woo! Invisible. Instant posting of reviews in the directory. A badge by your name in the community post. You can say to people, I am a contributor, you peasants. Access to post in the marketplace. 
You can post new threads in the sales swap section. Also available to non-members who have 500 plus posts have been a member for one year or more. Basically, if you're a dickhead. All this for less than three pounds a month. Base most membership is just 30 pounds a year. Less than much you'd spend on a trip to your favorite niche perfume shop. Activate your subscription here. <laughs> I'd rather not. I've seen enough of base notes. Thank you very much. Jesus. Three pounds a month. You should donate that to cancer relief for someone. They need it more. They're not assholes. Well, guys, that was funny base notes of you. So, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Me, I'm going to just go and cry in a corner. <laughs>